All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your man Akeem, and welcome to today's vlog. At 8 o'clock Eastern tonight, ESPN will cover the NFL Draft. I cannot wait. We're just under six hours away. We're getting closer and closer. I just can't wait to see what happens in this year's draft. It's going to be very interesting. But before we get to the draft, I would like to talk about a couple of players who the scouts should really look at and consider picking in the later days of this year's draft. One player is from Maryland, the running back Darrell Scott. He runs a 4 3 40. He's very fast and he's a great athlete when he is healthy. He rushed for over a thousand yards in his sophomore season and he had a great year but due to injuries his stats dropped for the for the next two seasons. His senior year he kind of bounced back especially in the military bowl this past season. He had a great game rushing for over 200 yards averaging 15 yards per carry with a couple of scores. This is a great athlete and I think he could be a, a pretty much of a steal in this year's draft. He's a very fast player. If this kid is healthy he's very dangerous so the scouts should definitely look out for him. And the other player I would like to talk about, another player who is very dangerous when healthy, is Justin Winters from Buffalo. He had a pretty great great career, especially coming in as a walk-on. Coming out of Greenbelt, Maryland, he had a great career at Buffalo. His sophomore season, just like Darrell Scott, he had a great year at getting a team high 123 tackles, and he was ranked in the top 20 in tackles that season. He had a great year, but due to injuries, his stats dropped as well. But his senior year, he ended up pretty good, getting 91 tackles, second on the team. He's a great athlete, and I think he could move to the safety position if he increases his speed. A lot of people are are saying that he does not have enough speed to be an outside linebacker and a good rush in. Plus, a lot of people talk about he's too small, but everybody has been doubting him throughout his entire career. Coming out of Roosevelt High School, he had 144 tackles his senior year. This kid is great, I'm telling you, and he had to work his way up and earn his scholarship at Buffalo. He was a walk-on, he played in the special teams, and then worked his way up into the starting lineup. This kid is great. Turner Gill had a good eye on this kid, and I think he could do well in the NFL. A lot of teams should definitely look after Justin Winters. He has a great work ethic, he's a good kid, great great student, good mind in football. If he increases his speed just a little bit, he could be a, a good safety because of his cover skills. But do not underestimate this kid. I think he could do well. And a lot of players and a lot of scouts should definitely look after this kid. Now, another thing I would like to talk about is Todd McShay and, and Mel Kuyper. They changed their top 10 picks this past week of the NFL draft. Now they're saying that Cam Newton could be going number one. Von Miller could go number two to Buffalo to, to Denver. And Buffalo could be picking Marcel Darius at number three. Now I'm not changing my draft, my, my, my mock draft. I still have Marcel Darius going number one, Nick Fairley going number two, and Von Miller number three. I know these guys are experts, but I know what I'm talking about too. And I ain't never scared. I'm going to stick with my draft. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep coverage of this year's NFL draft. I cannot wait and I hope everybody should stay tuned. I will let you know each each team's grades and the worst and best teams of this year's draft in the upcoming blogs. Thank you for watching today's video. I'm your man Akeem McCall. Be easy.